Hello guys. Today I decided to do something unique else something else. Why not have a sculpture on canvas? So as you can see I have given step by step procedure so that you can just copy paste and do your own sculpture. It's really interesting and the result is satisfying. Here I am sitting in a squatting or on the ground but you can you know have a table and uh, do this activity in standing posture as well. I prefer sitting on the ground. So here the mixing of this and making the paste of this cement putty is very important, very critical in the sense don't put excess water, you may end up doing that. Have a thick paste so that you are able to you know, rub it before, uh, rub it first on the canvas so that it sticks on the canvas and eventually make a thicker layer of the elephant parts like trunk, the legs and the ears and the head. You may have to do some special skillful job for the eyes. Accepting eyes may be nothing, at least I, I did not find much problem. Of course I had done some sculpture activity during my childhood, I recollected those. And uh, for this knife which I am using is the same knife which I use for oil painting or acrylic painting using knife. So you can use that and uh, be careful to finish the sculpting activity in a short span say half an hour maximum one hour. So what I did was I finished part by part so that it becomes easier to finish within half an hour. So here I am doing the sculpture of the trunk. Now after having put the adequate amount of the material putty there, I am using the knife uh, laden with little bit of water and uh, just sort of smoothening out the high points. And it, also subsequently using the brush to further smoothen out so that your sculpture becomes absolutely smooth. So that way do one by one part and put it for drying. I, I dried it for two days, even one day is good enough I think is quite fast but uh, important point is don't use uh, any artificial method for drying it like hair dryer or whatever now making the serrations which I am doing right now are very important so that you know subsequently your dark color remains in the crevices and the bronze color or gold color whatever you decide remains on the top surface it gives adds to the beauty of the sculpture. So make good amount of uh, uh, serrations and uh, after having finished the sculpture and drying then the job is like any other acrylic uh, painting. Paint the background first whatever background you want. I have given a simple uh, sky at the dawn or dusk with a land mass and uh, a little bit of uh, bushes to separate the horizon and the landmass. That's all. So your eyesight remains focused on the elephant and your painting doesn't become, you know, because of the beauty of the painting doesn't become a focal point. The focal point should remain, elephant should remain as a focal point. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you need to first, uh, you know, after having painted a background, the elephant, you need to give dark color. 
I straight away chose a black color, acrylic color. And uh, after having painted the entire, including the three vices, serrations and everything, in black, then I used uh, the strokes of uh, acrylic bronze paint. I selected bronze paint. I actually did a prototype or a thumbnail for sculpture, like we do it to a thumbnail for painting. And uh, I found that uh, I, I concluded that I am liking bronze color against the golden color. These two colors I had actually compared. And then I uh, painted with the bronze color over the black color of the elephant, taking care that the serrations remain intact as far as possible. So for that I painted uh, in a transverse fashion or a perpendicular fashion to that of the serrations. That's all, I mean nothing further on this. Try this, it's very interesting and uh, this will open a new world of uh, art for you. I have been doing uh, you know, variety including watercolor, acrylics, oil paints, soft pastels, the, within the you know the paintings I have been actually doing practically every sort of painting you must have seen in my earlier videos. Uh, though for those of you who are not subscribed do subscribe because you will get to learn variety of paintings though I am I don't consider myself an ace artist but you will get variety and you will get technique. What is more important I feel is a technique rather than uh, the quality. Of course the quality is important but I am saying if I am at 90% level against 100% level of the best possible artist that's okay but the variety will teach you and open up new avenues for you like still life, cityscape, landscape, flower painting, you know, uh, the fruits painting, what not. So do subscribe and uh, of course it will also motivate me to put more and more videos on the YouTube. Great, so with this I think I will conclude and happy sculpting, sculpting a unique word. I'm using for after a long time after my school days. Okay, good day to you and do try this. Bye.